Yeah, stay away from pure white. We say stay away from pure black as well. Um, but uh, white's the worst. As you can see that I'm going along the color wheel here, and even though I've put in sort of blue highlights, I'm still going along the color wheel there. See, there's a little shift again. And changing that every once in a while so that not all the highlights are exactly the same color. Otherwise, it would look like a uh, little flatten, it'll flatten off, look like it's graphic. So I'm trying to think about. You can see the the original reference I had is uh, is completely obliterated and gone forever. It's just a starting point for the robot. It was a car engine, I think. Not too sure. And now it's just whatever I want it to be. I just used it to find shapes that uh, were hard for my mind to construct. And now that I've got them, I can expand on it. Now that I understand it a little bit better. And I'm using the chunky oil pass a the way I was using the eraser earlier. And cutting in along there using color. And uh, getting some nice results. And you see from one layer on top of another with this chunky oil pass, so you get a lot of very subtle colors. Um, mixing together and uh, you should try and vary the color as much as possible within an image it's not a case of just getting that an orange and then a darker color of that and then a darker color of that again 